What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2020 Panini Rookies and Stars Football 7-Box Half Case Break Picker Teams number 1 just sold out. And for the last half of the of the day, guys, we've been giving you guys 10% off the remaining teams, which are already automatically discounted in the cart. And remember, 1 and 2 are from the same case, and all carts ship. And here we go. Customer names. Mojo getting the Bears last ball. Mojo. And then Eric. Actually, I don't know why it has a... Why does it have a little thing right there for you as well for the Jaguars? Oh, I think this is where I messed up, probably. What's going on here? Oh, you know what? I know what happened. I copied your name with a star from the last one. Sorry about that, brother. Mojo technically has last ball mojo. But you got it started, though, with the taking the Dolphins earlier, so. You're good. Alrighty, guys. And again, last couple years, this has been releasing on Cyber Monday, so. As you can see, even the box says right here Cyber Monday. Like I said, last year, seeing Rookies and Stars, it was pretty strong. I didn't, I didn't think it was really bad at all. <laughs> no, that's not even that, man. It's just, you know, he's, he's earned. He's earned the right to to just, just you know, eventually take some days off more than us and, and uh, you know, do his eight hours. But you might probably not even be seeing them soon in December. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I've, I've been here almost just as long. But being a breaker-wise, he's done it longer than I have. All right, so here you go. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to choose which one, actually. Totally forgot this was a half caser. All right, let's just pretend these are numbered. First box we're going to have to use. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's pretend that. Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. I was legit about to break all 14 boxes. Just to make it even. All right, first one, 13. So this one back here at the bottom. We're just going to mix it up. Nine. Actually, what I'll do here is, let me write nine. I don't want to take them out anymore. I know, I'll just do 14 for all of you guys. 12. Number this 12. Alright, so I have one, two, three, four. Let me choose three more. Four. One, two, three, four. Write that down. Two. One, two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, one more. And 11. Sweet. All right, so let's pull these boxes out. Sorry, guys. They usually go left to right, but we're just going to have some mixed up boxes now. But again, we don't know what's going to pop out of these, but we'll find out soon. And then these remaining boxes over here will be for the second half. Sweet. All right. Perfect. So remember, what I remember of Rookies and Stars, guys, is, is that there was some pretty good autographs in here. Like, I, I put last year, I put a lot of Kyler Murray's. I pulled Drew Locks, all that good stuff. All the big names you wanted to see. Um, obviously, I, I think people will always just say, well... It's a crap product, you know. Well, it's just a lower end product. There's, there's nothing different, though, right? You're still getting a, you're still getting a, a Tua a Herbert autograph, you know. But it is much more inexpensive. 
Fox price compared to Prism. So that's where the resale is always going to be a little different. But like I said, you can pull those just the same amount of names. You know, and what I remember of this having a lot of numbered cards. Um, and as it says here, two autographs and two memorabilia cards. And like I said, a lot of numbered cards I remember. So four hits. And I believe we have these boxes listed on jaspies.com for how much? Like I said, at this time around and at this point in the season, a Rookies and Stars football box at $200 for two autographs and two relics is probably the best price you're going to see from here on out with every new release coming out soon. Because I guarantee you, you're not going to see any more products at $200 a box with four hits total. So, like I said, at the end of the day, you're still getting the same names. Alrighty guys, let's take a look. Let's see what we got here. Nice, out of five. Look at that already. Denver Broncos going to Adam Kupperman. Good tight end right here for the Denver Broncos. I like to just call him Albert O, as uh, I think Jim Nance did <laughs> on uh, CBS. There you go. We got uh, Jalen Rager, Tom Brady. A little chrome here, rookies and stars, Lamar Jackson. Out of 99, Dak Prescott, ovations. Justin Jefferson, rookie. And we got Gabriel Davis relic for the Bills. Out of 49, DeAndre Hopkins. CD Lamb, Jalen Hurts. Jonathan Taylor to 49. We got Crusade, Brandon Ayuk. Out of 25. And wow, Jordan Love, already in the first box, guys. At 35. Two good autographs. And then we have, uh, out of 49, Nate Stanley, Cam Akers rookie. All right, Packers is going to Leonard. And we got big time. 
Henry Rooks. And then we got AJ Brown. Hulk Matt, dressed for success, 16 out of 99. Bears. Jalen Rager, and wow, look at this. What a beautiful looking card. Airborne, Joe Burrow, 22 out of 35 for the Bengals. When Adam Coverman. I'm telling you guys, this stuff isn't bad. I mean, for a $200 box, I mean, Crusade has always been a very popular uh, um, insert, and I've always liked the Airborns. I think they're really, really nice looking cards. So like I said, go buy some personals with us, guys. We have these available for personals. Like I said, 200 bucks for two autos and two relics it is not a bad product. Last year, I want to say, we did a lot of these cases for Cyber Monday. But of course, with the pandemic, I think everybody's getting so used to all this high-end stuff. I think people think that this isn't even something to mess around with anymore because it's too low-end for people. But honestly, this is a great, great box. But there was Elair. People are just uh, wanting to do Prism, which I don't mind. Prism, I mean, Prism resale is always going to be much better. But like I said, if you're just a collector, you want to collect some nice cards, you can easily uh, get some of this, guys. It's good, it's good stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, we're trying to get the next half of this one done. If you want to get it going, it looks like we might be down to like four left, five left. I'm not sure. Yeah, looks like we're down to five left. Looks like that link right there is going to show you the Ravens, Raiders, Dolphins, Vikings, and Eagles. And uh, we can break that tonight as well. We got Darnell Mooney. What a great looking card. Gold, three out of ten. Got to 99, Mark Ingram. Ooh, look at this crusade, Patrick Mahomes. One out of 75. Look at that, that is a beautiful looking car. Desmond Patton. What do you mean, CJ? Out of 35, Juju. Big time. And Cowboys. LaVisca, the 75. George Kittle to 50. Oh, yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. I mean, the one thing about Rookies and Stars is that, I mean, I, if I remember last year, I think this box price was... I think it might have been cheaper than this, to be honest. I mean, this year with this draft class and the hobby, it's, it's probably driven this box to 200 bucks. But I want to say last year's box was a little under, and people bought it, but it kind of sat there for a little bit. But once earlier this year with the pandemic happening and all that, and people getting back into the hobby, Rookies and Stars 2019 jumped like double the price. So 
if like people are out there also thinking that this will drop because it's so cheap it's like no man it's probably gonna go up more because it was so cheap to start off you know because i want to say that rookies and stars 2019 was like 150 a box or something maybe maybe a little under 200 and now it's a little over 200 bucks i think at one point we even reordered some and we were selling them for like 250 and we we're like whoa dude this is rookies and stars and it was like this much but people were buying it up because they realized it was a pretty good value for four hits. Xavier McKinney. But everything goes up and down. Cameron Jordan. C.D. Lamb. Look at that, guys. Good names, right? <laughs> I was hoping for all of these names in Prism. <laughs> Kenneth Murray. And the crazy thing about... Prism is that it's all sticker. I, I thought it would really separate itself too if, if it would all be on card, but remember, guys, stickers on here and on Prism is pretty much the same. Origins was great, man. That's something that we can never reorder because the price went up so much. Can't stop looking at the Mahomes, man. It's such a great looking card. And it just matches perfect with the red of the Chiefs. Like I said, I love this hobby. I mean, obviously, I would love to make money in this hobby when it comes to reselling stuff. But as a just straight up collector of loving this hobby, this is a beautiful looking card. I don't know. Just think it's pretty nice. We got uh, Anthony McFarlane, number to 49. Jonathan Taylor and DeAndre Swift. Our next two boxes. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. That's what I'm. That's that's why I, I, I don't know. I, I just have seen this hobby shift so much. I mean, even just this year, but just in the last few years, and people hated, like, not, not that people hated, but I want to say people didn't really like Prism and all that stuff when it first came out, like Select and stuff. How people always say, like, Giannis, Base, and Rookies, and Silvers back in the day, they were just thrown out, and they really were. I don't understand why. I think it, we had got too fixated, probably, that we wanted autos and patch autos seeing like all these higher end stuff but now it's kind of going back to like the back to like the old school and all these heavy base products are being the bigger resale value and the most beautiful colors right that's why i think mosaic did so well i love all the mosaic cars the genesis the peacock you know you know the all the colors that popped out right now it's turning more into an art than it really is anything and like i tell people i, I don't even care for the autographs anymore i just want the color 
But it's just amazing to me how, like, people would just literally put, like, Giannis Silvers in a pile and just say, yeah, this was trash, right? You know? And, um, like I said, they weren't even called Silvers back in the day. I don't know who called it Silver, but, but <laughs> I, I want to know who's, I, I don't know who called it Silver, but I would love to know because when I, when I first got into the hobby, really big and flipping and selling in local card shops in the early late 2010s like around 2009 2010 i started um and then started seeing like uh select and all that stuff they were called prism prisms they weren't even called silvers they were called like in the back if you got a silver or a color card it'd say prism on the back and it's like i was like who the hell started this because i do not remember this especially back in like 2013 2012 But silver just sounds so much better. Yeah, on card is definitely the best way now. And that's why I think uh, uh, stickers are always kind of looked down upon. But like I said, it's usually not really Panini that doesn't get us the autos. It's just really the players not committing to their time to sign their cards. Which kind of messes things up. Wow, we even got a plate. Michael Thomas. Doesn't even say one of one anymore. But it does have like a stamp. Well, there it is. One of one, but it also says July 2020 or something. There you go. Michael Thomas. Saints going to Adam Scott. I see some gold. Ooh, it's a gold crusade as well. Oh my god. No, no. Wow. Wow. Look how beautiful that looks. Joe Burrow goes crusade gold. Gold. 10 out of 10. Woo. Man. Rookies and stars, guys. Rookies and stars. Man, that is a beautiful looking card. Man, a gold's going to look so good with Justin Herbert colors. <laughs> Jesus. Actually, I'm going to put that on the standard. I don't have my standard here, actually. That is a beautiful looking card. Uh, Adam Copperman, who got the bangles earlier. There you go, man. Man. Can't stop looking at it. Amazing. Ooh, Jalen Hurts. Put in Hurts already. Season's over. <laughs> 24 to 75 for my Eagles. Kevin Madden. Also looks like might be a slight corner on the top right there, Chip, but just rookies and stars I've kind of seen it being a normal thing. The card stock on this, you'll you'll notice right away with the thin cards are really paper thin. I would have loved to buy this as personals, like especially this box. <laughs> you got a Jalen Hurts auto and a Joe Burrow to ten. Jesus, I'm telling you guys, rookies and stars, man, it's pretty good. And it's pretty consistent. It's not just we just got a lucky case. I think all the cases have been pretty nice after breaking all of 2019. Cole Kmet. Wow, is that another Colk Met? Dress for success? Free mojo? Stellar rookies. That's nice. 
kind of smart. Also, I think I grabbed from two different stacks, just to let you guys know, because I was about to say, how the hell is there another Jalen Hurts probably pop popping up right now? But I also think that that's not from this box. I also think that's from the separate box. And the Joe Burrow's beautiful. <laughs> Can't stop looking at it. That is a beautiful looking car. Alright, we got a uh, rookie here. Grant Delpit. T. Higgins. We got Miles Garrett. Yeah, the Crusades are very nice. Calvin Johnson. Man, I have some Miles Sanders Crusade. I'm going to have to get some of this. I don't think they produced any Crusade Miles Sanders last year, if I remember correctly. Or maybe I haven't really looked. Yeah, guys, let's get the next one done. Might as well. Derek Brown. Number 2, uh, 99. Tyreek Hill. Little Herbie, rookie rush, CD Lamb rookie, Nick Chubb, high octane, 99, you know Benjamin, Admire that beautiful Herbert Crusade. Ten out of ten. I mean, not Herbert. Uh, Burrow. He's gonna be strong. He's gonna come back stronger, guys. Let's go to Herbert like that now. box here so again guys these are seven box half case breaks 14 total on a case Oh, we don't know, Kurt. There still might be some. Wow, what the what the hell's going on here? This is giving me that what? 
Russell Westbrook face? What you talking about, bro? <laughs> like, what the hell? The hell's going on here? Man. Tua. Matthew Stafford. And I want to say that there might be like another two Colt Mets in the next half. <laughs> Herbie. Relic. The fact that there was three. Not even two. Three. We got uh, T. Higgins, number 249. Rugs, Raiders. There you go, CJ. And Airborne, Dan Marino. Donovan Peoples Jones to 99. Marquise Brown. Zach Moss. Gabriel Davis. Jacob Eason. And we got Javon Kinlaw, number to 10. Very nice looking card right there. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. I see another gold coming up. The gold is coming up. It's a rookie. Potentially as well. Jonathan Taylor dressed for success to 99. Indianapolis Colts, Adam Kupperman. No, actually, it's not. It's Josh Allen, airborne gold. That is a very nice looking card. Three out of ten for the Bills. It's going to Jeffrey. Yeah, these are great cards to get graded, especially the great gems. They look really nice in the little slab. Like, just imagine that, that bro in a PSA slab. Saint gem in 10. A banger right there. Bo Jackson said he would average 300 to 400 yards a game in this NFL today. Damn, I don't know about that. I mean, I'm sure he can average over 100. Do you guys think so? The hot take by Bo Jackson saying he'd average over 300 yards a game in today's NFL. We 
You got J.K. Dobbins. A little pass to 25. Got to 99, Damon Arnett. Tua, Larry Fitzgerald, rookies and stars, great American heroes. And Henry Ruggs for the Raiders. Autograph right there. And they were sleeping a little, CJ. Nate Stanley. Rager. Nice. Should be able to get that done next. All right, guys. I I get. To, I was telling people I, I liked this product last year for the price, especially price point. And to me, it didn't disappoint <laughs> at all. If anything, it exceeded, or at least we were just uh, had some really good boxes here. But like I said, let me show you guys a quick little recap. So of course, a lot of numbered cards, a lot of rookies. Of course, that will be top loading, but tons of numbered cards. We have like two stacks worth right here. Let's just quickly go through some of these relics and hits. So we got J.K. Dobbins. We got Javon King Law to 10, Dress for Success. Jonathan Taylor out of 10, Josh Allen Airborne. We got Jacob Easton. Zach Moss relic, Donovan Peoples Jones to 99 autograph, Herbert relic, Cole Met, Dress for Success. Derek Brown, relic here of Nick Chubb. We got Jalen Hurts, Dress for Success to 25, Cole Met. Uh, Louisca Chenault. Uh, Jalen Hurts, a little printing plate of Michael Thomas, Darrington Evans, uh, Patrick Queen, Patty Mahomes, out of 75, DeAndre Swift, Desmond Patton, LaVisca Auto, George Kittle, that's number 250, Barkley, numbered, Tua Togabailoa, Darrington Evans, C.D. Lamb, Damon Arnett, Gold, Clyde Ozilaire, Dress for Success, Colt Metz, Little Jordan Love uh, autograph out of five. Albert O. Little Airborne Joe Burrow to 35. And Henry Ruggs. And of course, one of the biggest hits. What's some nice one here is Joe Burrow. I'm sorry, Eric. Well, I was just talking mainly for the cards. I know some teams didn't really hit much, but in general, over the cards, as I was talking about. But there you go, guys. Uh, there were some teams available in the second half. They were available in the first half, guys. So. Like I said, if it didn't hit much on this side, try to grab them in the second half if they're still available, guys. We appreciate it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.